you triggered something with the word fix, is that one of my, I, I've been really practicing to just say, okay, you know what, just let that go. I don't need, I'm gonna focus over on this direction instead and allow that to just do its own thing. And I don't need to be involved in it. I don't need to fix it. But, but then there's a little part of me well, that but ends see, up feeling but you see what guilty you're, that what I you're should doing have there. done something. It was, really, it was really good the way that unfolded because you said, all right, I don't need to fix it. And then you said something that sort of was leaning in the direction of more general, but the longer you talked, the more you went in the yeah, direction was, of what I'm needed like, to be fixed. So, so just talk less. Okay. <laughs> just talk, and think less. Just talk, talk le less. Talk yeah. less and feel more. Okay. Go for the emotion. In other words, if we could convince you that feeling better is the fix, feeling better is the fix. Without guilt. But I haven't done guilt anything over there. Guilt isn't the fix. Guilt is <laughs> no, an indicator isn't. that you haven't got the fix. Right. When you feel negative emotion, that means what you're focused upon is an opposition of source. And it's not fixed until you're in agreement with source. And how can you trust source? You were source before you got here. You are source now. You've been honing it out. You've been putting it in there. Source knows everything that you want that you think would make the world a better place. Not only what you want, but what everybody else wants. And source collects the best of all of it and holds itself in vibrational alliance, compliance, and readiness with all the good stuff. You're making a lot of noise with those cookies. All of the good stuff, all of the good stuff, all of the good stuff. Source holds complete alignment with all of the good stuff that you're wanting. And as you work yourself into vibrational alignment with all of that good stuff, what begins to happen is that good stuff begins to reflect itself back into your experience in the precise way that you said you wanted it to happen. And if you don't let too much gap go between your launching of the desire and your receiving of the manifestation, then you know your power. If you let too much time go, because goodness is happening. Sometimes it goes from generation to generation. Sometimes it's three or four or five generations later to find the peace or the gift in something, you see. We just don't think you should have to croak in order to reap the benefit of what you put into your vortex. Right. That's the whole point of all of this conversation, you see. Okay. Okay. Really. We make too much of all of it. But the reason that we do is because you ask sometimes for things that you are not quite ready to hear in the fullness. When we begin with you, the first thing that we said to a group as Esther was receiving us was, if there is something that life has shown you that you want and you believe it, then it is in full manifestation. In other words, if you want it and believe it, then it must be. And there's evidence all around you of that alignment. Okay. Well, those are nice sounding words, but most people, they think, they thought, at least at that time, that to believe something just meant to say it. I believe these affirmations. I believe this. I believe these annoying things. I believe them. And we say, what you believe is the vibration that you keep practicing. And the question is, are you practicing a vibration that is in alignment with what you really want and what the source within you believes or something different. And you can tell by the way you feel. But if we begin by saying to you, well, just get happy. Do you hear how many people just laugh about that? Mm -hmm. You gotta be pretty unhappy before being happy is high on your list of things to do. Right. And when it is, then it is our knowing that you will find a way. And so that's really what we are talking about all day, every day getting right to the essence of who you are and then reflecting that power back into manifestation. So just letting yourself be, don't worry about all that other stuff and stop thinking. <laughs> Think about how it is for a lot of people where they say, um, I will join a movement in order to positively affect this. And then we will all be happier in the achievement of it. And now you are here really understanding how backwards that is because while you're on your movement and pushing against whatever it is that you don't want, oh, you're holding yourself out of vibrational alignment with the very solutions you seek. Right. So when you understand that the problem and the solution are different frequencies, even the question and the answer are different frequencies, but you're here to do both. You're here to probe at the problem in order to create the solution, but then in order to retrieve the solution and manifest the solution, you got to line up with the solution. And now you know what? You all know exactly how to do that. You know exactly how to do that. You're not confused about this, are you? Isn't this idea of going general, doesn't it feel liberating to you? Mm -hmm. Aren't you eager to go apply it to the next thing that sort of gets in your face and makes you feel uncomfortable? Right. Esther said, she's been laughing about it recently. Abraham, I don't have to line up, I've got people. 
I don't have to fix that. I can just call someone. There are lots of effective people around me that will wrestle that to the ground and get it in its right place. But as you were saying, you'd never wrestle it to the ground. It keeps coming up in another way and in another way and in another way and in another way and another way. You can't get enough people to put out the brush fires that you're setting as, you, right. as you're running around with torches and dragging them in the dry brush. In other words, <laughs> there's, they, there's just not enough of them, you see. But when you finally get it that how you feel really matters and that's what you give your attention to, then everything comes into alignment. And it feels like it's really a funny thing. It feels like finally, finally, the universe is cooperating with what I want. And we say, you were the last holdout. The universe, <laughs> the universe has been cooperating. Okay. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, indeed. And thank you, Esther. Yes, indeed.